Hi folks, and welcome to my last league match in this season versus Singleti. Uh, yeah, I get to be the first player. Here's the board. Uh, we don't have King Score here. Mm, the only plus buy is never mind. <laughs> A ruin market is not the only plus, but because we have seaway, so you can seaway vessels. <laughs> you can seaway isles. I guess <laughs> that would be that would be not the best the best use of plus by token. Uh, so we do have trash in here. Trash in is trading post, which is um, quite good, uh, especially with stables as a draw. Well, stables is not the best draw here, right? Uh, there is uh, Vassal Patron Synergy, Marauder, I kind of think it, I, I, don't, I don't care about it. So you do want, uh, wait, there is also a way of the Butterfly, so uh, I, I guess uh, you open the Scavenger Silver and then you turn your Scavenger into like Trading Post maybe right away or maybe a bit later or Maybe into some draw, I don't know. Uh, let's go for it. So, Scavenger Silver looks good to me. Uh, it kind of sucks. Well, we are playing quite fast. Uh, let's get a second Scavenger, just because you can turn it into, you know, useful stuff. Uh, and discard, top deck this one, get a trading post I think and give me a second Slightly unfortunate, I guess. Uh, I can I can do an in here, or I can just trash. So if I trash, I, I ain't gonna get anything really useful. I think I want to trash. Uh, Tom like this scavenger. Uh, get an in. Tom deck it. I'm not sure if that's any good. Hmm. I could just turn that into Let's do it this way. All right, would be great to find the in here. You don't want all that many ins because I mean you don't you don't need them really. You because you're gonna have the king's cards. Uh, so nobody trashed anything so far. The deck composition is kind of similar. I have another more scavengers, but oh wait, hey, that is nice. That's really good. So I can do it this way. And uh, we're gonna discard. So so far my scavengers are doing great job here. Uh, now I could I could already uh, never mind. I, yeah, I could already see where the vessels. But then again, I ain't gonna be able to play all, all of those. Mm, I think just another stables for now. Uh, next turn, we're gonna probably be able to find a to to buy a king's court. Well, hopefully. And if that's the case, that's gonna be pretty good. So far, I feel uh, ahead. I mean, mm, he just trashed a couple of coppers, which is something, but much worse than trashing a couple of states. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. All right, what's down there? Uh, another stables, my in, my other scavenger. If I if I trash here, that's just four. Uh, 
well. I could do patrol already. What does it? Hmm. I don't feel like trashing here because then I don't I don't hit five and it kind of sucks. All right, gonna discard. Put the stables on top. Um, another in. Uh, it feels like such a waste to be honest. Let's get a patrol. I ain't gonna be able to use it this turn really, probably, but. You're gonna want those. Just get some more stables. Alright, here's my in. It's great. Uh, well, I'm gonna trigger. Uh, uh, never mind, it doesn't matter because of you know what. Um. Yeah, but now I need to play the scavenger as a, you know, as a scavenger, <laughs> not as a butterfly. But okay, I, I can live with that. So discard. Uh, I'm gonna get a king's card. All right. Uh, it didn't go perfect, but it's fine. Now, preferably, I would king's court my stay one of my stables. Uh, never mind that. All right, so now we uh, return the scavenger into another patrol. Now we see where the vessel. Okay. You well, that's. I have another stables down there, and and my patrol as well. Well, <laughs> I mean, obviously, in is not the your most desirable king king's court target. Definitely. You see, why the scavenger? I mean, all right. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's just because you have to. I only have one, and I'm going to get rid of it as soon as I have a chance. So uh, I'm going to risk it. All right, worth it. Yay. Uh, now what? Do I king the patrol? If I king the patrol, uh, what are my terminals? Um, trading post and scavenger. Scavenger will just. I'll just turn it into another uh, patrol. I think I can live without it. I'd rather just... Although, on the other hand, I can just draw everything with the king in the stables. Even if I fail. Yeah, I, I should probably do it this way. All right. Um, patrol now, sure. All right. Um, mm, mm, sure, I need to play this vessel. Um, it's a little bit awkward. Um, I want to play the trading post. Yep. And, um, Turn a scavenger into another patrol and buy two king's courts. What's up with the money? Uh, it's um, a six, eight, eight plus four, 14. Uh, I can't quite do it. So I guess I just draw everything and buy two king's courts. That's fine. All right. Uh, well, it looks bad, but. It isn't necessarily bad, so maybe maybe it can still work, and it, it can still work pretty nicely because actually you want to king one few vessels eventually. I mean, I want to king my only vessel eventually, 
it's just it, it could uh, it could dot completely but I do have quite a few uh, action cards in this deck so could be fine mm, if that if that doesn't draw I am definitely losing some of my advantage here if not all So let's see if it draws. Uh, first one, copper. Second, king's card. All right, that works. Play that. Play that. Patrol. Mm. I. Play the whistle. Play the in. All right. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. Okay. We are. We are doing great. Now, uh, let's just uh, draw. I mean, I can't really gain it. Well, I, I can actually gain and play. Oh. Uh, I think I'm definitely king in this trading post now. Mm, then again, it might be. I mean, it definitely was slightly suboptimal this turn. But uh, whatever, uh, king's court, king's court, and then what? What's left? Uh, and double vessel. That that looks reasonably good to me. All right, that's great. I'm gonna be able to turn this trading post into gold. Mm. Single T still has quite a few, well, well most of his coppers and the state. But then again, he'll mm, he's likely to get rid of uh, get rid of quite a few of those in this turn. Now, what do I have with the piles? Uh, the piles are still here pretty much, right? Alright, just we didn't king the trading post, so still gonna have uh, some junk there. Uh, double king score and a scavenger, I I would imagine. Uh yeah, alright. Uh, so king, king, patrol uh, whatever I guess really matter I ideally I would want to king all my vessels somehow Alright, King's Court. So now we draw with the stables. I'll play, play, draw another one, play. Um, so there is something to say about uh, you can turn your King's Court into provinces if you really want to. Now, okay, King's Court, King's Court. Now let's do vessel play play. Wow, that's a lot of clicking. Um, 
play and play and play and vessel and play. Uh, can I maybe somehow pile here? I mean, estates are gone, king's courts are gone. Um, scavengers, I. Play, uh, whatever, play, um, do, should I butterfly my scavenger? I, I don't think so, I think I'm good. Although I do only have two, uh, you know what, let's butterfly the scavenger, return it. Oh. Oops, sorry. It's a king's court. All right, now I do want to return this trading post. A butterfly all the way. Oh boy, that's a lot of clicking. Play, play. Play. Oh, should I? Maybe I should. I don't need this in, right? All right. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, what? Are... I wonder if I missed the win there somehow. Anyway, uh, I should want. I should get some green. I should have been... You know what I should have been doing? I should have been turning a scavenger into a royal seal. I should have been guaranteeing myself a turn. Actually, that was quite a severe mistake. I'm pretty sure royal seal is the way to go here. Just to set up the next turn, just to be sure. Well, I can still do it with an in, right? Yeah. Uh, let's go for it. Uh, so I want to have those, yeah? And now uh, I want colony, a colony, and uh, I, I bought myself another plus, but I think that should be good enough. All right. <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> Royal Seal, not, not this game. I don't think I left him any possibility of piling out here, not really. He's only... I think is uh, He could maybe like think of turning some of his scavengers into like stables and doing it this way, but scavengers are his only plus buy too, so oh never mind he he completely missed there. That's he had pretty pretty set shuffles there it looks like. Alright, I should be able to somehow uh win here. Uh whatever play Okay, thank you, because <laughs> this clicking drives me crazy. Mm. Alright, well, that was uh, somewhat lopsided, because I I really... Uh, I, I, I did really have nice draws there. Alright, so he should be the first player here. Yep. <clears> hmm, <throat> a cathedral board. Kingdom. Mm hmm. So we don't have page. We don't have rebuild. Uh, rebuild. <clears throat> 
doesn't sound exciting to me. Uh, we do have Lurker with the... Uh, with the nothing really, I mean... You can trash the Squires, there are no attacks really, yeah. Except for the Warrior. So that's... Um, not something important. Do we want... What is this board about? I mean, you surely get the cathedral and think later. I'm pretty sure of that. Now what? Do we go for the page? Mm, there is the fear with the... what you call it? Treasure hunter. And that's something. You could, you could also build a huge deck if you get the champion and then you can draw with nobles, right? That's something. You can do windfalls plus by, yeah, you, I, I think you need to go for that. Everything else just kind of, maybe you add some fear and play at the end with that, but uh, you need a page, I would, I would imagine. All right, that sucks. <clears throat> Oh hey, I don't need to click. <laughs> That's good, I guess. Uh, I what should I what should I buy here? Mm, I'm not. I guess a second page. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Uh, yeah, it's it's not a not the greatest shuffle. I'm quite far behind on the travelers now, and can't do much about it. But we'll see how it goes. It's a squire, yeah, that's what I'm going to get now as well. Let's change that. <clears throat> Something like squire, pay. well, you want to get a lurker at some point. He gets two more pages. I. Damn it. Would have been nice to draw something out of out of it. Um. I. You could really go for fear on here, but. It's just you don't really want anything else here. I I don't think. So I'll just get the page. Hopefully he discards some coppers for me. Oh, never mind. He just <laughs> just going to trash my treasure hunter. Well, okay, gets a square. I am not sure if that's correct. Because you might. Might want a lurker. Mm. Yeah, so far it doesn't look great. But, okay, gains a lot of sewers. Mm. And it's fine. Three sewers for this deck, which is somewhat trashed already. I think it's okay, but I don't think you want to just go crazy f for those just because of, you know, like fear and stuff. Sure, let's go for Treasure Hunter. I would, it would be really nice to play my... Uh, what's your face? Warrior. Didn't happen. Um, Steward already, or mm, probably maybe another Squire. Mm, do I really want this many of those? Let's go for those. Uh, this deck is really slow to get going. Should get nobles, yeah. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, that's gonna be quite a few silvers. I'll actually just... Uh, each will give me two, which is, I guess, acceptable. Now, what should I trash? He doesn't have any lurkers. I'll go with the nobles. Uh, sculptor here. I mean, it's definitely worth it in the long run. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is an amazing card here. It's just, don't want it now. Does he have any warriors? I would appreciate the shuffle trigger. He's just going for all the silvers in the world. I'm not a fan. Uh yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not doing it here. I could try and save this uh, treasure hunter, discards Squire, that's actually not... I hate being so far behind in um, page line. I don't... yeah... Maybe I, I added um, too many of those, you know, uh, cards that don't draw me anything. Like treasure hunters, lurker, squire, whatnot, but mm, so far the draws have been uh, subpar. Um, should I kill? Never mind. I'll just get that. Um, what did he... Triple nobles? Uh, I don't want it. I don't, I don't want any... I guess I'll take a steward. I'm gonna keep the page. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's it's garbage. <laughs> I, I can't... Yeah, I can't do much with, the, with these draws. So my my hero's down there. Uh, I guess I'll just start getting all these tours in the world. I mean, well, his warriors were so far pretty gentle. All right, let's resign. I mean, yeah, it just it just went this way. I'm I'm not sure if I was able to do anything here, to be honest. Maybe maybe I made a few wrong decisions there. <clears throat> All right. Mm, here's the next one. Uh-huh. Um, you can summon a trade route. Oh my god. Well, actually... This board does look, doesn't look really exciting, but... Um, you're definitely going for groundskeepers here. It's just, you know, it, the board asks for it. Actually, Silk Road could be quite fine for that uh, purpose because you're gonna sanctuary all your, all your stuff so as great as someone is I probably just open with the sanctuary I mean what is what is the other option here mm. you kind of want the camel train I'm pretty sure just to amass those uh, five costs you you definitely gonna want some uh, a couple of centuries at least and then uh, quite a few groundskeepers you're gonna want some you, you're probably gonna gold is probably the, the best economy here although you might think about food anyway let's stop talking and get the sanctuary I mean I I don't I don't really see someone in stuff here. Uh, 
Not ideal. That's not ideal at all. Mm. What's my next hand? Oh my god, that's that's not a good draw at all. Uh, what if I summon a Camel Train now? Uh, can I hit 5 the next turn? Uh, well, actually it's impossible, right? Hmm, damn it. Alright, I'll just get a Camel Train. I think I need, I need it. Oh, uh, yeah, disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna get another Silver here. All right, that's going to be another sanctuary. <clears throat> well, um now, what should I go for first? Just more sanctuaries for now, I think. I, I'm gonna have enough economy for to buy a gold. And... Yeah. Uh, and buys. Oh, that's not good. Damn it. Uh, yeah, that that is an annoying draw. Do I? Ah, oh, damn it! I'm not even sure I want this third silver. I uh, like. Uh, maybe I I don't know. So far, this camel train haven't been really helpful at all. Gets a baker. Uh, I need to trash. Uh, okay, I guess I ain't gonna trash here. All right, now now I feel like I I do have enough sanctuaries. Bakers are definitely good. I mean, with this many sanctuaries, which give you a lot of plus by you don't. Oh fuck off! <laughs> uh, I mean, all right. I guess drawing two states here is really, you know. Uh, yeah, the source of my uh, um, of me being unhappy here is not hitting five again. I I ain't gonna get another sewer. I think I'm just gonna skip here. Yeah, so far the kind of the money distribution and whatnot didn't work out for me here. Maybe I should have been kind of, uh, excited in a, a baker before a groundskeeper. Because <clears throat> having a couple of bakers definitely, definitely gonna make your life a bit better. <sighs> All right, let's kill that. Do I have two silvers down there? No, it's just I, I only draw a single silver every single time. That hurts a lot. All right. Yeah, I th uh, somehow I feel like I'm terribly behind here. I mean, he's drawing the deck. And uh, as a second player, somehow. <clears throat> mm, consider gold here. He's out of, he's out of starting cards. And I still have plenty. I still have four in the deck. Uh, 
I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of willing to just resign here. <laughs> Somehow it goes terribly wrong. I feel like I'm doing something, I feel like I'm doing something wrong here, but I'm not quite sure what exactly. Maybe it's, maybe this camel train wasn't mm, well timed. Maybe it's just, you know, it feels awkward because it's a board without any draw and, you know, it just, it's just a shitty board. Uh, okay, I, I'm drawing everything here. Hooray. <sighs> ah, all right. Now groundskeeper, right? Do I want the gold? It has three bakers in the deck. I I don't know uh, how am I supposed to ever win this one. Now, <clears throat> if I want to get five groundskeepers, I need to get one now. On the other hand, it ain't gonna work, because he'll be able to buy two and exile one. So I don't, I don't win anything by I I am gonna I'm stuck with four groundskeepers basically. Uh, let's get a gold. Yeah, he should buy the he should buy two groundskeepers here. Definitely, because I mean, I would I would fancy this split is important. Yeah. I missed, uh, what did I miss at my last silver, whatever. Um, all right. Maybe I should have been getting. Maybe I should have been getting the sanctuaries. Just to have more buys or like markets. Maybe it should have been markets all the way. I should now consider uh, killing the camel train. Or I mean, exiling it rather, just because, you know. Honestly, uh, <laughs> this this board uh, got me tilted somewhat because uh, you know it's such a it's a it is pretty straightforward, but it just didn't work out. Uh, maybe I mean my worst problem, I guess, was um, hitting four all the time and and three, which isn't much better, or worse or anything, it's just the same, right? So, I don't know, um, maybe I could have been, I could have prevented it somehow. So you exile the silver, which is smart, you want to do that. Um, exile the camel train, yeah, so he's ready now to smash the states or silk roads or whatever. All right. Um, I 
I don't know. I I could try. I mean, okay, I guess. Uh, I'll do something like that. It, I'm. I mean, it ain't. It ain't gonna work because there is no, you know, nothing unexpected is going to happen with his turn. That's the problem, and he just has an advantage which he ain't going to lose somewhere on the way. He uh, he's guaranteed to draw the deck now at least, and he just has more points potential. I mean, he's now going to he's now likely to add some green cards although he doesn't really need to right not yet because he's not in immediate danger of me piling so maybe he just gets like some markets this turn or something I don't I don't really think he maybe he will get like I don't know a seal grow but you could you could still build I think you want to build a little bit more because if he ain't gonna build he's gonna have a small chance of stalling and then I gonna I gonna have a small chance of somehow maybe you know, going slightly bigger and outscoring him. But then again, it's... Uh, it's already marginal, to be honest. Mm. He could summon... He could triple summon a trade route. The problem is even doing doing something like double province even it just wins for him I think. Mm, well, maybe it doesn't. But how much money per turn does he have? So that's eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, yeah, eleven money per turn plus whatever coffers he saved. How much money do I have per turn? Uh, I it's a, a market, so I do have my uh, two silvers, two golds, so that's uh, ten, and then I have two bakers, three markets. So I I do have a bit more money per turn. He has the coffers though, that's you know that that matters, you know six coffers is. Quite a few. I still have this silly uh, camel train. And I might still want to play it this turn, although I'm... <laughs> Frankly, I'm not quite sure. Uh, how many stop cards do I have? Five exactly, right? So, it gets a dashi. Mm, chicken. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I guess it's fine. I mean, he has exactly five stop cards now, so he can. Um, he can uh, 
stash away this duchy and that's good I guess um, I would like to kill one of those silvers should I just kill a camel train uh, it's probably better all right that's Um, well, it isn't. It could have been worse. I didn't draw one of my bakers, didn't draw one of my groundskeepers. Uh, Alright, what am I doing here? Double market Silk Road. Oh, is double market safe? Uh, yeah, I think so. <clears throat> yeah, the, I mean... Groundskeeper split is a big, big deal, kind of. Because uh, those decks ain't really getting worse when you get green to them. I mean, at some point they will if, if you add too much, but... Um, yeah. It's just... Uh, um, he's always gonna have this... Uh, the, the, the point's just going to grow, the point difference. He's thinking about killing another silver now. <clears throat> so he's going to have uh, 11, 20 coins if he wants to. That's a lot of money. He didn't have he didn't have five stop cards, right? Yeah, because uh, his hand right now is two golds, two silvers. Uh, so it was it was kind of lucky to uh, to draw it all to not miss any of the cantrips on the bottom, because the the bottom card of the deck was. Uh, one of the treasures. All right, here's your 20 coins. And uh, what are you going to do about it? A yeah, six buys. <laughs> he could go five dashes. Mm. That is slightly suicidal, but I guess it's going to work. I mean, everything's going to work for him, I feel like. Mm. So what's up with uh, Silk Roads? Right now, my Silk Road is worth... One point. <laughs> All right, that took uh, a few seconds to count. And yeah, three states, single Silk Road. So, 
it is as good as a state now which is better than nothing but not much not much more more than that all right yeah let's uh, let's drag this a bit more but uh, he now can uh, he now can potentially stall all right uh, what's the last one a ground skipper <clears throat> I need to kill this freaking sewer otherwise I mean I yep yeah, I can yeah whatever Now what? Yeah, I know where the resign button is. Uh, to Silk Roads and the Duchy. Silk Roads don't. He's not guaranteed to draw now. Although he does have quite a few coffers. Uh, all right, so that happens. Uh, three groundskeepers in play though. So three ground three groundskeepers is not six, but still it's something. It's good. I I guess that's the best I could have expected. Hmm. Not sure if, I mean, I think it's really far from being an ass, though. I. I mean, what am I going to do about it? Mm, you probably don't. You probably don't lower too much. I think you want to do something safe here. Like maybe get a couple of dashes. Hmm. Only exiled one card there. So actually, yeah, that was that was kind of good. How many uh, green cards did he had last turn? Uh, only two. Well, hopefully, I hopefully I gonna draw a bit better here. Kind of need that to go anywhere. What if he just buys a prize? <laughs> Honestly, it might be good enough, and then he still has the tokens and whatnot. It's uh, it's such a waste that someone is useless here. Such a such an amazing one of the strongest events, and it's completely useless here. Market three estates. All right, so he's he's lowering. All right. Ah, uh, that's not good. I did draw all the groundskeepers though. Does that somehow does anything? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, mm, I could do four states. <sighs> if he draws, he wins no matter what. I. I don't. I don't think I'm winning a long game. My best bet is that somehow he misses 
uh, Hina, Hina is supposed to have quite a few green cards in hand. I my only hope is that he draws more of those, and then he doesn't have enough money somehow to empty. Uh, that probably means I don't, I shouldn't touch the states really. Uh, so maybe I do like, I can't do triple Silk Road either because that's uh, you know that's flowering too much. Uh, I could do. Mm. I mean, honestly, everything loses. <laughs> uh, Silk Road double dash. Can I do that? I can do. I don't. I can't even fucking do that. Uh, let's do double Silk Road dashi. Whatever it. It still is lower in too much, but I mean, I need to get some points. It would have been much better to draw a few of those sanctuaries. All right, if that's if that's it, if the rest of the hand is green cards and maybe uh, no more groundskeepers, no. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's enough. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, take your annex. <laughs> Whatever. I, I I didn't like this one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, this one is going to be much better. Here's the board. Uh, yep. So, we don't have Baker again. We don't have Trashin. The only Trashin is Old Witch. Mm. You can still go pretty big here, right? Yeah, you can you can set up your turns a little bit with the village greens and with the secret passages actually. Uh, I think I like Overlord, uh, which opening. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, that doesn't look great. Uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't look great at all. I'm not even sure how exactly am I playing this uh, Overlord here. Could be an encampment. Could be a. Uh, could be a baker. Do an encampment. And I can't buy much of anything. Uh, I think I want the silver. You know, all this stuff is pretty expensive. You could also do native village secret passage thing. Gets another overlord. Um, so I'm I'm thinking between overlord and native village here. Let's do the native village. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh my god, that uh, that's just. Somehow it's just not working for me. Mm -hmm. All right, 
I, I I shouldn't get too frustrated about it. I just uh, I can always just resign if it's too bad. Uh, let's do an encampment, right? Probably another overlord here. Let's do that. Sure. <clears throat> yeah. Uh huh. Should be a passage, or I mean, could be an ironmonger to. Here I I do have um, like what do I have down there? Surely a native village. I'm gonna play this one as encampment. Has his plus by already. Uh, sure, let's trigger, set aside a copper, that's good. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I don't know. Gets a haggler. Uh, whatever I'll resign this one I mean I mean screw that screw that it it didn't go good whatever it's okay uh, I mean it's not a it's not a rage quit or anything I just don't think I had any any chance of coming back there he was like several turns ahead I think mm. all right it's uh it's a game number four five now I think so here's the board uh, I do have a five two and it looks like this board welcomes such a such an opening uh, so we do have encampments again uh, trashing is uh, awkward but enhances actually you can enhance coppers into encampments, which is great. But you, uh, on five, you always prefer. What actually do you want here? I guess, I guess, the cultist, right? Cultist, cultist must, you know, work, must hurt more eventually. Uh, you're gonna want uh, witches too, I would, I would imagine. You could consider opening. Well, on three, four, on four, on four, I think you just get the you trash copper into encampment. So I guess you take cargo ship encampment. Takes the sewer. All right. Mm, I don't like it. I mean, I think it's. I think enhancing is better than overpaying. Get messenger. Car. Uh, I don't know about it. I don't know about that. He got two of those. <clears throat> Do I need the sewer? I don't think so. He gave me this cargo ship. I think I just take an encampment. He he's unlucky here. He didn't hit five. Um, oh, that's mm, and I drew the last encampment. That's not good. Fine. Uh, uh 
Yeah, whatever. I'll just. I think I'll just take another cultist. Could could also be plunder, but you know what? Let's get a cultist. All right. Uh, yeah. Play this. Oh, god damn it! I mean, I would I would really like to maybe like draw my other cultist there. Um, now what? I could stone mason for two encampments now. Oh, I could also just enhance. Could also just take something like a crown. I think I like the stone masoning. <clears throat> well, that's less than ideal. That's my first ruin. That's also less than ideal. So here I enhance into another encampment, enhance the stonemason, right? I could enhance the cargo ship into another cultist. Mm, let's try. It could be a crown. Let's try the cultist. Because maybe I'm drawing all of those this turn and, you know, giving him a few ruins. Mm, I'll just draw. So, I didn't draw the last cultist there, sadly. Uh, now what's down there? I don't have any encampments left. I mean, if I if I reveal a cultist, that's going to be quite awkward. So I could just uh, I could just kill the survivors and overpay for two encampments. How about that? Mm. Or I could... Uh, or I could just... Uh, ah, all the options. I don't have seven in my deck anymore. Let's do it this way. See how it goes. All right. Uh, okay, at least I'm ahead on uh, ruins. Uh, I don't need this stone mason, right? I uh, and also I I do have two of those. So sure, let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, this way. Gets a crown. Now, well, I don't really have any good options here. I think I just uh, get an encampment. Alright, he doesn't have a good 
Ventura, it looks like. Gets a plunder. Uh, all right. Uh, what are what are my what are my cultists? Mm, do I say goodbye to a third encampment here? <laughs> I mean, what uh, what am I supposed to do otherwise? What the fuck is that? Like seriously, how many cultists do I have? Um, I. Now the next turn is going to suck if I just stop here. I mean, this is this is a terrible draw. Uh, there's some garbage down there. I could. Uh, I can't read. Um, I can overpay here. All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know why he, why he resigned there. I'm I'm seriously not quite sure. Well, I guess because all of the ruins. Yeah, I kind of forgot that I, I gave him quite a few of those. Anyway, let's forget it. Let's forget this terrible game. It was it was somewhat annoying. Uh, here's the next one. All right. Hmm. So it does have procession magpie. Procession for procession should be good here. A bit awkward maybe because you know you can't process caravans, but you know you don't need caravans. So yeah, procession all the way. Mm. The opening should be either. I mean, you do take a forager right away, yeah. Yeah, it's just. It's either a magpie or scavenger. I could see both, but I think it's magpie. Uh, there's also quite a few points available just. You know, yeah, just like just like that, you can you can take four points, and that's not like you've done something you didn't want to do. Now, mm, I think I'll take a barge. This kind of isn't very good, you know. Uh, let's get a second forager, partly because of the points, and also, I mean. Threshing a bit faster is fine, and also you could process it and gain um, gain something useful. Gets a procession already. Uh, sure, I'll get one here. I'm not getting extra magpies, and that's going to be my demise. Uh, let's get a procession. I I could buy one here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he got too far ahead in points there. Let's um what am I going to buy? I guess it doesn't really matter. I think I might need another magpie. <laughs> magpie forager here. Uh, should I take a silver? <laughs> Is silver any good here at all? I don't know. Yeah, he got too far ahead in points, sadly. And I mean, it kind of matters here because 
this game is going to be short. And also this turn I don't know, I, I need I think I need to take a Cooper here. And hopefully I hopefully I didn't bottom deck my uh, procession here because otherwise um, I don't think... Alright, so that was not a good turn for... I did bottom deck my fucking procession here. Mm. Should I... Should I try and... Draw another copper? Mm. Or should I just buy a silver and stop here? Um, I don't know, silver kind of, let's do it this way. Yeah, that was, that was bad that I, if, because, you know, he had a bad turn. If, uh, if I would, um, but it didn't really help me because I, I also had a bad turn. But hey, would you look at that? Looks like he missed his processions too this time, this time. Uh, let's start with doing that. Let's draw this barge. Yay. Uh, I need more processions. Maybe I shouldn't have been... Uh, whatever. Mm, now, barge. Next turn. Yep. One, two, three. I have too many of those. Mm. Now what? Should I get something like a, I don't know, scavenger? What am I supposed to do with all the foragers? Maybe I should have been uh, killing one of one of those. Huh? I hope. Let me see. I, I I think I need to kill one of the foragers. I won't be able to do anything useful with those. Uh, I need another procession. And I think I'll just get a scavenger. Uh, or maybe just another procession. What am I going to process next turn? Uh, to forge. Mm, yeah, it probably is better. Let's get a copper too. I'm going to draw it all, I think. Piles are low, as in really low, as in if he's not careful I'm piling on my turn. Can he pile? I don't think so. We don't, neither of us, actually, actually, we, we, we ain't quite there, right? Neither of us has any money. Yeah, six coins, I mean, it ain't too impressive. You kind of want, I mean, the best, the best source of money here are scavengers. And not the Philosopher's Stone, as you might have might have think, been thinking. Six is awkward. Gold, I mean, gold is kind of forger silver, huh? All right, let's. Mm. What am I doing here? 
saying I'm doing all this procession stuff. I'm I'm drawing everything. I'm uh, getting three barges and a procession because I. I would need to buy two. I don't think I can pile. Let's start like that, maybe. Maybe I can pile. <clears throat> um, all right, let me let me think. So I'm. Uh, I trashed one of those mic pies. I'm. I'm going to process a procession here. Then I can. Uh, do the forager and get another procession and then so barges are down to I have no idea what I'm doing here I still have another forager there uh, is it beneficial to get uh, to do the silver here it must be. Surely another procession. Now draw. Oh yeah, I'm winning. I I kinda I was kinda thinking it's not quite there, but Hey, old good procession kind of works. Mm, all right, so that's it. It looks like uh, we ended up uh, it ended up in a tie. I so yeah, it was it was my last match in this season. Uh, I don't think it went very good for me. I, I haven't really checked the standings, but I think I didn't really uh, win the whole lot. It was quite a few ties, and I and some. Uh, losses but nothing really terrible either so let's see anyways thanks for watching thanks for listening and see you in the next time